The system in which we live has created vast environmental and social consequences. We take resources, make a product, and then dump it. But the effects of climate change, the scarcity of natural resources, and exponential population growth mean this way of living is completely unsustainable. I'm on a journey to find out about a revolutionary solution. It has the power to change the way we produce, consume, and live. The Earth's resources are finite. It's clear that we need a new way of doing things where products are reused, recycling is improved, and waste is ultimately eliminated. This is what's known as a circular economy. This year, the bottled water company Evian pledged to become fully circular by 2025. Hi, nice Alice, you. nice to meet you. Shall we have a seat? To understand more about the circular economy, I'm going to meet former UN climate chief Cristiana Figueres, who delivered the groundbreaking Paris climate change deal. Can you explain what circularity is? I think it's quite simple to understand what circularity is. In the linear paradigm that we have been living, you have extract, use, dispose. In the circularity paradigm, it is harvest, appreciate, fertilize. It is circular because the end product is used as the input, but it is not only the physical result of circularity. Actually, circularity starts in our head. It starts by understanding that we have reached planetary boundaries on all accounts, across all factors, and that we no longer can extract, use, and dispose. It is all about cleaning the entire chain. How often do we think about what happens to single-use plastic items like plastic bottles or takeaway coffee cups and straws? Because every minute, a truck full of plastic gets dumped into our oceans. At this rate, by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. I'm here in the northeast of England to meet the artist Mandy Barker. Her photographs raise awareness of plastic pollution across the world. Have you picked up plastic here? Yeah, yeah, I've got pockets full here. There's some polystyrene. So that breaks down into these small bits but never ever goes away. More than 8 million tonnes of plastic goes into the sea every year. And this is going to more than treble by 2050. So, come in. <laughs> come wow, this is where you keep all your plastic. <laughs> Everything is catalogued by object, crisp bags, lighters. Shotgun cartridges collected on the west coast of Scotland from Canada. So things travel. This shows a beach in Hong Kong. It is a beach underneath that. It sits up to 12 feet deep at the deepest points. These samples are all from the stomachs of albatross chicks. This is from one albatross. They are collected all single-use packaging that was translucent to make reference to the amount of food packaging that we use. And the necessity of circular economy. Exactly. If we had a circular economy, these things would be recovered and they would end up being recycled or biodegrading properly. Fashion is one of the most polluting industries in the world. 75% of the 80 billion pieces of clothing produced each year end up in landfill. But one designer believes that the future of fashion is circular. I grew up going to vintage stores or charity shops. You know, I found that exci an exciting way to shop and it gave me an individual sense of style. And, you know, and that's just the, you know, that's the way I kind of got turned on by fashion. So you don't see waste as, a, as waste, you see it as an opportunity. The idea of the circular economy is to actually use waste as a business opportunity. We use all of the cuttings on the cashmere floor, for example. So we take the waste and we make a desirable product. Fast fashion is obviously making a lot of money. Do you think there is a business case there? People wear fast fashion maximum three times before they throw it away. Now, I don't think that's... I don't think that's the, f the future of fashion. You know, why is this product so cheap? Because I've tried to, you know, buy a bag of chips for that amount of money, and I don't get it. The scale of the problem is enormous. It's about much more than what one company or industry can do. I'm here in the Dutch town of Diven to meet circularity expert Sabine Oberhuber. I really love that space because something which has been so ugly before has been transformed 
I think that is a beautiful metaphor for life and also a beautiful showcase of what circular economy can do. We try to reuse as much of the existing structure and then everything we had to bring in new, make sure that we can reuse it in the future. And we thought which company in the world would be able to create such a huge steel structure, which is lightweight, which is safe, which you can dismantle and which you can transport easily. Yeah. And we came up with a roller coaster company because they have to do yeah. that every week. If you want to do things differently, first think what is the core of your question and then look around you, what's, around. what's there, where are the answers? And they are very often not in your own sector, but they are there. The different innovators I've met have made me realize that circularity is a brilliant attitude where you see that solutions are actually all around us. I see innovation connecting different things together like roller coasters and roofs and in that way it makes innovation really accessible which is quite exciting. But of course we need the big brands and industries to also have that attitude. Evian have pledged to become fully circular by 2025. In the next film I'll be exploring exactly how they plan to do this.